Hey, what's up? I'm Styler. In this video, I will show how to root most MediaTek smartphones running with 4.2 Jelly Bean or 4.4 KitKat. I don't say that this is the only way or the best way, but this is how I always do it and so far I have been able to root all my phones. So typical, we have two options. You have a MediaTek phone and this phone comes with Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean or 4.4.2 KitKat. So the first thing we do is to check in about phone. So here I have the phone. So you need to check about because we need to see what version it is. So this one will say it's 4.4.4 but this is a clone. So right now it will show a fake version here. But in fact this is Jelly Bean. And uh, let's go back here. So we also have here the developer options and if you can't see this you need to go to about and uh, here in the build number you need to tap a lot of times and it will say you are a developer. Then you have the developer options here and you go into this and you will here check that the USB debugging is enabled. So um, what I now do is to connect this phone to my computer here. And uh, now I have connected the USB cable with the computer and uh, typically you see then USB connected touch here and uh, you need to enable turn on USB storage okay so let me just zoom a little bit here so here the phone will pop up and uh, you go to the phone and uh, you go inside the download directory and uh, here you copy from the computer, I have my APK tools here. These tools you copy to the download on the phone. So um, you have the framer root, this one is uh, important. Let's have a look on the phone. So um, let me just go here to root checker. Let's check if this phone actually has root or not. So I'm going to verify root. And you see it says there, sorry, this device is not rooted. Okay, let's go back. So uh, I will go into the apps. I will go into the file manager, into the storage and into the download directory. And here I just copied the framer root. So you just tap this and install it. Here you just say I understand and install anyway. Say open. So here we now have the framer root and this is a one click root tool for Jelly Bean. So usually you just pick the first one here and it will show you this. So you now know it's rooted, you say OK. And uh, okay, now I have rebooted the phone and let's check out again here root checker. And we see here it has root now, root access. So uh, this is how you root um, 4.2 Jelly Bean really easy. Just use the framer root one click tool. Uh, this will work on almost any 4.2 and a MediaTek device like this. And uh, if you should need um, to um, unroot, you can always uh, run Framer Root again and on root from inside the app. I will just show here Framer Root and here you choose on root and uh, the root will be gone again. And uh, when you are rooted you can actually just uninstall Framer Root tool here. So you don't need that anymore. And another thing is that after you rooted you see the super SU here and you just click on this one here and it will say it needs to be updated and you say continue you say here normal then you just wait and uh, it will show you this and you say ok so then you know it's good so um, if you have jelly bean only this is a very easy way to root so uh, here to another phone and this one is running the 4.4.2 KitKat so KitKat you can't uh, root just with framer root you have to do this um, with the uh, iRoot and I will show you here how I will do this. First of all, I will check with root checker again if this uh, always has root or not. We see no root access. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is that some phones, for example from uh, Allophone, 
they, they come pre-rooted from the, um, the factory and uh, then you can skip all this and uh, just update with the newest Super SU from the Play Store. But uh, as you saw this one has no root so again I will check here in the settings just to be sure that we have about phone we have here the KitKat version yeah 4.4.2 this is KitKat and again if you don't have the developer options you just click a lot of times here on build number you see developer and you go here again to the developer options and check that USB debugging is enabled okay let's go back so again I will connect this phone to my computer and you see it's found here you say USB mass storage and I will enable here so here it's found I will open I will go into the download directory again and uh, I will again copy all my tools all the APKs and um, this time it's important that we have link to SD and super SU so that's it and uh, let me just zoom out again and uh, then I will disconnect here and remove the cable so uh, the next thing uh, is that I will here on my computer install uh, iWood see here iWood and uh, you will open up the website you see here and uh, you will get this page here iWood and you just scroll down to download here and install the app on the computer so after you install the iWood you start up the, the program here and you will see this let me just zoom a little bit again okay so uh, you need to connect your phone now then it will say something with installing here and uh, you may have to say accept so uh, if it will uh, prompt you with anything on the display on the phone you just have to accept or continue and uh, we still see here that it will install something and we also see it pops up with an app here and uh, when this is done you see this it's connected and you have here the button to click on uh, root so actually you just click here now on the root so now it will root the device and uh, it may also reboot the phone as you see here now and uh, install some drivers here and uh, I would will just say waiting for device so uh, when this is done you should see this B1 is rooted successfully this phone here is named B1 I will here unlock okay so um, I will just check here with root checker and you see you have to press grant and you see it's rooted okay so now I will go into the file manager on the phone phone storage and into the download and here I have the tools I uh, copied to the phone before I will install super su and I will say here install I will say open and uh, when it asks to update you just say continue say normal and uh, here you grant super su uh, with the iWood uh, super tool and you say grant here you say grant you may have to do this a lot of times and uh, sometimes it asks uh, like three to five times So after some time it will show you this and you say reboot and um, the tool here in Windows you can just close this one and you can also here disconnect the phone. So now the phone is rebooted and I will just check here. So we see some Chinese apps here. Okay so I will go inside here and find the apps here super cleaner I will uninstall this and uh, this one here uninstall so uh, then I only need to remove the super user from iWood here 
because now I'm using the Super SU and um, what I'm going to do now is to install with the file manager again from the download I will install link to SD so install this you open so click OK and uh, if it should prompt you with the uh, root access you just say OK grant then you scroll down here in the bottom of the list and somewhere here you will find iWords super user you click here say action say uninstall say OK and here you grant so now super user from iWood is removed back to the front and um, we check here that it's gone don't see it anymore we only see the normal super issue okay let me go back and I will again reboot the phone so now the phone is rebooted so let's check here we still only have the normal super SU and uh, of course you can now remove the um, link to SD if you want but you can also just keep it let's check here with root checker so you see we still have full root access and uh, all the Chinese uh, apps are gone so there are no trace of iRoot anymore we only have this normal super SU so it's clean and nice so that's how you root uh, the 4.4.2 KitKat really easy. So uh, that's it. This was my video how to root nearly any MediaTek device running the 4.2 Jelly Bean or the 4.4 KitKat. If you have any questions, please comment below. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching. See ya.